So a question that I see sometimes, as soon as an iPhone gets discontinued or dropped with software support, I end up seeing some comments stating that could this iPhone that just dropped support that Apple's no longer pretty much supporting with the next version of software, could this iPhone actually get the next version of software? And we've never seen this happen before. Basically, I just want to state right now, we've never seen Apple go ahead once they drop an iPhone. We've never seen them give that iPhone the next major version of iOS pretty much ever. I can't think of an iPhone that's ever been like this. Maybe there's like one rare exception in like early on. But since, as far as I can remember, Apple's never dropped an iPhone of support and then brought that iPhone back to life later on. However, there have been many, many cases where Apple pretty much went through and they, you know, basically dropped an iPhone like an iPhone 5. They didn't support it on iOS 10 for many years. And then they randomly, like three years later, gave that iPhone a random software update. There's been random times like that. There's been times where even the iPhone 5S, for example, it pretty much stopped getting software support in 2019, but it's been getting support since then, basically even up until this year, which is insane. So on iOS 12, it's still getting some software updates, which is actually pretty nice. But as opposed to the iPhone 10, it getting iOS 17, it is impossible. I don't think there's any way Apple's going to be giving iOS 17 to this specific device, which in my opinion is kind of understandable. I feel like they should have given this iPhone iOS 17, but for them to not give it iOS 17 now after they've dropped it, it makes sense. They're not going to go back in time and do anything like that. However, I will say if you're planning on upgrading to iOS 17, or if you're feeling bad because the iPhone 10 didn't, didn't get iOS 17, I wouldn't really be too sad about it. Of course, iOS 16 is still on the iPhone 10, and you're still getting lots of you know features and support and everything like that within the iPhone 10 already. But I would probably like to add that with a device like the iPhone 10, you're still getting a decent phone for the time being. If you're planning on buying one, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I'd probably just recommend going straight up to something like the iPhone XS at this point or an iPhone XR. But I still think the iPhone X, if you already own it, can probably still get you another year. Maybe not a year, maybe like another like five to ten months easy. Most people won't even upgrade to iOS 17 until like October, November. So you're still going to be able to use an iPhone that's still pretty decent up until that point, which I think is super awesome. Now, I would tell you do not install iOS 17 on any iPhone you're running, but if you currently own an iPhone 10 and you're sad about iOS 17 not coming for it, I will say, of course, that's a sad situation. It's never going to get iOS 17, but just keep in mind in the back of your head that it could be way worse. You could be having like an iPhone like 7 that probably ended off even earlier than the iPhone 10 could have ended off that. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.